Hey, uh, welcome to another tutorial from uh, WordPress Page Builders Academy. Uh, we have an extensive library of tutorials for uh, all the top WordPress page builders. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you, you see them when they come out. Okay, now on to today's tutorial. Hey everyone, uh, in today's Bricks tutorial, we will be showing you how to sh toggle, basically show and hide virtually any element in Bricks Builder with a button. Um, in the tutorial, we'll be using uh, a form to sh show you how to show and hide a form with a button, but you could really do this with any element in Bricks Builder, okay? Not just the form. So, all right, uh, let's get right to it, okay? Uh, so we open up uh, Bricks here. So we could have two containers. One contain the form uh, and the other one containing the button. So let's put the two containers in there. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is deal with the form. So once you're in the style tab of the form, we're going to create a CSS class. And once you create, this is very important to this uh, technique work, okay? Once you create the CSS class, you have to make sure that it's highlighted up here because we are going to apply the following uh, CSS code specifically to this CSS class. Uh, so you need to see that, okay, it's that um, CSS class that you just created is up here in the field, yellow. And right here, you see active classes here on the right-hand side. Yeah, it's one active class. And then we are going to scroll down and apply the following CSS to this, this specific CSS class that we just created, okay? Hey, we've got a quick favor to ask. If you've made it this far into that tutorial, please smash that like button. It will really help out this channel in um, these tutorials. Okay, now back to the actual tutorial. Thank you. So I'll explain right here. Um, sort of root is to target the element wrapper. Um, the display is set to initially none, so it's hidden. And this cross knob hidden uh, basically tells um, the code to when it's click, it will display. And this not hidden um, class we're going to start later into in the button interactions uh, um, settings. Okay, so we are now done with the form settings. So now let's go to the button. Okay, so we have the button here. Um, so we're going to click here, which is in actions, right? And then we are going to uh, create a trigger. So the trigger is going to be applied on click. The action is going to be uh, toggle attribute. And the key is going to be a class. And remember earlier when we said uh, the not hidden class, so that's where we set it here, hidden. Okay, and the target we are going to set is the CSS selector. And remember the CSS selector we used earlier. So remember it was where we created a CSS class with the form. That's where that's what we're going to use. And Rem only wants uh, you could turn this on if you only want your user to toggle once, but if you want your users to toggle back and forth infinitely, then you could. Uh, keep this off, okay? So basically that's kind of everything. So now we just go ahead and run it and test it to see if it works, okay? Uh, that's it, really. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up and uh, that'll really help us. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of new videos coming out, okay? Thank you, bye.